that's a piece of mRNA, it would just send it over to the pea body to get shredded. A simple biological junk drawer, right? Case closed. Well, this is where the story does a complete 180. It turns out the pea body isn't a junk drawer at all. It's a high security vault. The cell doesn't destroy its old blueprints, especially not the really powerful ones from when it was young. Instead, it locks them away. It's not about forgetting the past. It's about actively repressing it. It's creating a cellular memory of what it used to be. So here's how it plays out. When a cell is brand new, it's what we call totipotent. All its blueprints are active and ready to go. It can build a whole person. But as it starts to specialize, let's say it decides to become a skin cell, it takes all those powerful youth blueprints, gathers them up, and sends them to the pea body. Then the pea body literally assembles around them, locking them away, silencing them, and creating this hidden memory of its past, more powerful self. And this, of course, led researchers to the next obvious question. If the pea body is a vault, then there has to be a lock. And if there's a lock, there has to be a key. This is where the scientific detective story gets really good. And that master lock, it turns out to be a single protein called DDX6. You can think of it like the keystone in an arch. It's the one protein that holds the entire Peabody structure together. As long as DDX6 is doing its job, that vault stays shut, and all those amazing youth blueprints stay silent and locked inside. So the experiment they designed was just beautiful in its simplicity. Researchers used the CRISPR tool to go into cells and just turn down the DDX6 protein. They didn't add anything new. They didn't force anything in. They just broke the master lock that was already there.